During the Japanese colonial period, the Kaohsiung Pingdung area's waterworks included the Dago Waterworks, Pingdung Waterworks, Chishan Waterworks, Gangshan Waterworks, and Fangshan Waterworks. The Dago Waterworks is the modern-day Kaohsiung Waterworks, which is divided into the Kaohsiung First Headwater Point and the Kaohsiung Second Headwater Point. The Kaohsiung First Headwater Point consisted of the Zhilia Water Intake Station, Jiaopingding Headwater Point, and Shoshan Distribution Reservoir. This was Kaohsiung's earliest waterworks, completed in 1913, and the water was drawn from the lower Danshuiai River, which was an essential water source for the Kaohsiung metropolitan area at that time. The Kaohsiung First Headwater Point primarily supplied water to the urban area west of the Love River. The Kaohsiung Second Headwater Point consisted of the Won Gongiwen Water Purification Station and the Kao Tan Distribution Reservoir, completed as an expansion in 1942. It sourced water from the underground flow of the lower Danshuiai River. The Kaohsiung Second Headwater Point mainly supplied water to the urban area east of the Kaohsiung River. The Pingdong Waterworks, formerly known as the Ago Waterworks, was completed in 1917. It initially shared water sources and purification facilities with the Kaohsiung Waterworks, drawing purified water from the Xiaopingding Headwater Point. However, due to insufficient water from the Kaohsiung First Headwater Point, a new headwater point was established on the east side of Pingdong City in 1938, including the drilling of wells and the installation of additional waterworks facilities. This allowed the Pingdong and Kaohsiung Waterworks to operate independently. The Qishan Waterworks was completed in 1925. Due to Japan's financial difficulties at the time, it was funded by private organizations. The water source was drawn from the Qishan Canal of the Nanzixian River and channeled into the waterworks through the canal, bringing a continuous supply of water to Qishan Township. The Gangshan Waterworks was completed in 1925, sourcing its water from the Baijia Canal of the Agondian River. In 1937, an elevated water tower was added, which became a landmark in Taiwan's architectural history. The Fangshan Waterworks was completed in 1925, sourcing water from three underground collecting wells. The towering water tower and duration tower, which sprayed water, were landmarks of the Fangshan area. The Kaohsiung Waterworks, originally called the Dago Waterworks, completed its first headwater point in 1913, with water sourced from the Gaoping River. The construction of the Dago Waterworks was initiated by the Japanese government to meet the urban development needs associated with the construction of Takao Port. In 1909, the Taiwan Governor General's office set up a water intake point on the right bank of the lower Damshua River in Julia Village, Dashu Township, to draw water from the river. Additionally, a water purification station was established three kilometers away in the hilly area of Xiaoping Village, and a distribution reservoir was constructed on Shoshan. When the Daga Waterworks was first established, its scale was second only to the Taipei Waterworks, making it one of the two largest waterworks systems in northern and southern Taiwan at that time. The Zhulia Water Intake Station, originally named the Daga Waterworks Pump Room, was completed in 1913. The station included a collecting well, water intake point, pumping well, and pump room. The pump room, built with a wide-span wooden structure, provided a spacious interior equipped with modern power-driven pumps. In 1998, it was designated as a Grade 3 historical site by the Ministry of the Interior, and it is now a municipal monument in Kaohsiung City. The Xiaopingding Headwater Point, located in Xiaopingding, Dashu Village, was completed in 1913. The site included facilities such as a distribution well, sedimentation tank, sedimentation well, sand filter, sand filtration well, water conveyance well, and sand washing area. After the retrocession of Taiwan, the site was taken over by the Kaohsiung City Government and renamed Kaohsiung City Water Treatment Plant First Headwater Point. Covering an area of about 25 hectares, it was renamed the Pingding Water Purification Station in 1974 and integrated into the Taiwan Water Corporation as one of the six purification stations serving the greater Kaohsiung area. 
The Shoshan Distribution Reservoir, also known as the Daga Water Purification Pool, was completed in 1913. The reservoir housed facilities such as a water purification well, water purification pool, valve well room, and water meter room. It primarily received and stored purified water from the Xiaopingding headwater point, which flowed through the valve well room to the water meter room at the foot of the mountain and distributed water to the urban area. Additionally, an underwater pipeline was laid at Zishijia to extend water supply to Sijin and provide water to the urban area of Chiho. The purification process at the Kaosheng first headwater point began by collecting raw water from the lower Damshua River into a collecting well at the water intake station. After water was drawn through the water intake point and into the pump well, the pump was used to lift the water to a height of approximately 59 chi, where it reached the distribution well at the Xiaopingding headwater point. After undergoing sedimentation, filtration, and disinfection, the clean water was first collected in the conveyance well. Then, using the natural gravitational drop of 120 meters, the purified water was transported to the Dago Water Purification Pool located on the South Shoshan at an elevation of 34.8 meters, supplying water to Dago Port and the urban area. As factories and heavy industries rapidly developed in the Kaosheng area, the demand for water significantly increased. In 1942, the second headwater point was established in Wongongiwen, Dalia Village, to collect groundwater using collecting wells. Additional facilities such as aeration basins and sand filters were installed, and a distribution reservoir was built on the hills of Kao Tan and Daliao to supply water primarily to the areas east of the Kaosheng River. The Wongongiwen Water Purification Station, located in Dalio Village, was completed in 1942, with a designed output of 8,350 cubic meters per day, capable of serving 50,000 people. After being taken over by the Kaosheng city government in 1945, the plant underwent continuous improvements and expansions, and it now has a designed output of 36,000 cubic meters per day. The Kao Tan Distribution Reservoir, located on the hills of Kao Tan and Daliao, was completed in 1942. It primarily distributed purified water from the Wongongiwen Water Purification Station to the Kaosheng area. After the completion of the Kao Tan Water Treatment Plant in 1972, the distribution reservoir was decommissioned and no longer used. The Pingdong Waterworks, also known as the Ago Waterworks, was completed in 1917. Its purpose was to meet the local residents' water needs and improve environmental sanitation. Initially, the water source and purification facilities of the Pingdong Waterworks were shared with the Kaosheng First Headwater Point. After the water was filtered at the Xiaopingding Headwater Point, it was transported via the Ago Waterworks Water Meter Room and the Lower Damshua River Railway Bridge to the Ago Urban Area for residential use, with a planned supply for 15,000 people. As Pingdong's population grew and the water supply from the Kaosheng First Headwater Point became insufficient, a new headwater point was sought for the Pingdong Waterworks in 1934. The eastern side of Pingdong City, in the Changxing area, was selected for test well drilling and water quality testing, which revealed that the groundwater was both high quality and abundant. Thus, in 1936, Changxing was established as the new headwater point, and the expansion of the Pingdong Waterworks was completed in 1938, allowing the Pingdong Waterworks to operate independently from the Kaosheng first headwater point. The Pingdong Waterworks sourced water from collecting wells. The raw water passed through aeration basins and flowed into sand filters for purification. After filtration, the water was pumped from the pumping well to a distribution tower 30 meters high. The purified water then naturally flowed downward by gravity to supply 45,000 residents in the Pingdong urban area. The Qishan Waterworks was built in 1925. Due to financial difficulties following the 1923 Great Kanto earthquake, the Qishan Waterworks was initially funded by private investment. The Qishan Credit Union signed a water supply agreement with the Irrigation Association, 
where the credit union was responsible for constructing the waterworks facilities and the irrigation association provided the water from the Chishong Canal of the Nanzixian River. Once the waterworks were completed, ownership of the facilities was transferred to the irrigation association, which paid a usage fee to the credit union. The Qishan Waterworks was the earliest modern water supply system built in Kaohsiung County at that time. In 1929, due to the Irrigation Association's unstable water supply and the credit union's insufficient financial resources, the local government purchased the Qishan Waterworks system and made improvements using public funds. A water purification pool was added in 1930. After 1945, as the population of Qishan increased and the Qishan Canal began to experience reduced water flow due to poor maintenance, the facilities gradually became insufficient to meet demand. In 1954, a new water intake point was established at the Qishan Embankment, and an 850 cubic meter water reservoir was added at the foothills of Zhongshan Park. The Qishan Waterworks was decommissioned between 1961 and 1971. In 1975, the filtration facilities were converted into a children's swimming pool, which was later abandoned in 1996. In 2001, there were plans to demolish the water purification pool and build a social welfare building in its place. Fortunately, after strong efforts from local residents, the water purification pool was preserved and a social welfare building was built nearby. In 2004, the water purification pool was registered as a historic building. The Qishan Waterworks facilities included the Qishan Canal Water Diversion Channel, Sand Filter, and Water Purification Pool. The Qishan Canal was the source of water for the Qishan Waterworks. The water diversion channel was inverted trapezoidal, with a sluice gate installed at the top to block the water and direct it into the water intake point. The sand filter was made of reinforced concrete. When the waterworks were completed in 1925, the facilities were relatively simple. Water from the canal was filtered, and the natural water level difference was used to send water through distribution pipelines to the homes in the town. Initially, the Qishan Waterworks did not include a water purification pool. After the government acquired and upgraded the waterworks in 1929, a water purification pool was added in 1930 below the sand filter to improve water quality. The water purification pool was covered with soil and had six ventilation shafts on top, along with a front chamber at the entrance. The commemorative monument was erected in 1925 after the completion of the Qishan Waterworks to honor the contributions of the Qishan Credit Union and Irrigation Associations, whose investments made a lasting impact on the economic development of Qishan. The only remaining facilities from the Japanese colonial period Sisan Waterwork are the Qishan Canal Sluice Gate, the Water Diversion Channel, the Water Purification Pool, and the commemorative monument. The water purification process of the Qishan Waterworks began by diverting water from the Qishan Canal. The sluice gate blocked the water, and it was collected through the water intake gate. The water was then channeled through the diversion channel into the distribution reservoir, where sand could be washed if necessary. The distribution pool directed the water to three sand filters. After filtration, the water was sent to the clear water reservoir which then transported the water to the purification pool for storage. From there, the purified water was distributed through pipelines to the urban area for residential use. The Gangshan Waterworks was built in 1925, with its water source drawn from the Baijia Canal of the Agondian River. Initially, it was a simple waterworks system, but as the population in Gangshan Street grew, an expansion project took place between 1937 and 1938. An elevated water tower was constructed to provide pressurized water distribution, supplying municipal water for 7,000 people in the Gangshan area. Subsequent expansion projects for the Gangshan Water Purification Station were carried out in 1957 and 1962. During these phases, the slow sand filter was replaced with a rapid sand filter, and a pump room was built to replace the function of the water tower for pressurization. 
The Gangshan water tower was converted into a high-pressure backwash system for the rapid sand filter. The Gangshan Waterworks facilities included a raw water well, sedimentation tank, sedimentation well, sand filter, pumping well, and storage tower. The Gangshan Water Tower is a reinforced concrete structure, approximately 30.9 meters high with an inner diameter of 5.4 meters and a water depth of 3 meters. Its full water level reaches an elevation of 25.4 meters, and it has an effective capacity of 113 cubic meters. The tower contains a water level gauge, and the main structure remains intact. The water tower was permanently decommissioned in May 1992, and in 2004, it was declared a historic building. It is one of the top 10 historical buildings in Kaohsiung County and among the 100 notable historical buildings in Taiwan, serving as an important landmark in the Gangshan area. The Fangshan Waterworks, located by Chaitupi, began construction in December 1933 and was completed in October 1934, taking only 11 months. The water source for the Fangshan Waterworks came from three underground collecting wells, one at the headwater point and two at Chaitupi. The maximum daily output was 2,400 cubic meters. The Fangshan Waterworks facilities included collecting wells, a pumping well, a pump room, a spray pool, for interconnected sand filters, sand filtration wells, a sand washing area, and an elevated water tower. The Fangshan Waterworks originally functioned as an independent system using water from the underground collecting wells at Chaitupi. In 1972, due to water pollution at Chaitupi, the waterworks ceased drawing water from this source, and the supply was shifted to the Pingding and Wangdangguan water purification stations. The aeration tower was dismantled in 1984. The land containing the Chaitupi headwater point, sedimentation tank, aeration tower, sand filters, and collecting wells was returned to the Fangshan city office in 1973. The reclaimed land has since been redeveloped into congregate housing. Currently, only the office area of the Fangshan service center remains, with the site area reduced from 1.2 hectares to 0.19 hectares. The elevated water tower of the Fangshan Waterworks was once a landmark of Fangshan and a shared memory of the older generation. However, after being damaged by the 921 earthquake in 1999, the tower was dismantled in 2000 for safety reasons and replaced by a parking lot. The construction of waterworks in the Kaohsiung Pingdung area during the Japanese colonial period effectively addressed the issues of unclean drinking water and poor sanitary conditions, which had led to epidemics. These waterworks laid a critical foundation for the development of the region. Starting in 1909, the Taiwan Governor General's office successively built the Kaohsiung Waterworks, Pingdung Waterworks, Qishan Waterworks, Gangshan Waterworks, and Fangshan Waterworks. These structures were grand and meticulously designed, and despite over a century of history, they still retain their original splendor, holding a special place in the memories of local residents. The construction of waterworks was a revolutionary and universal engineering achievement in the development of modern cities, and the topic of public water supply is one worthy of deep exploration. As we enjoy the benefits of clean water today, we are reminded to honor the efforts and contributions of those who came before us, whose work continues to inspire gratitude and admiration.